What is up, good morning. Uh, so head over to train like usual, but guess what? Um, things are switching up. So as you guys um, seen thus far, I've been training with Carolyn. Um, we've been doing obviously mainly hypertrophy, you know, building muscle. And for me, my training is changing. So this is something that uh, I was flirting with a little bit before the new year, um, after doing the collaboration with Phil DeRue. You guys saw me puke my face off and just go through basically hell week for mixed martial artists. The challenge this year was for me to increase my VO2 max. So when the next time I went down to do a collab and follow up with Phil DeRue, I will be in much better condition in terms of like my cardiovascular, my VO2 max basically, and, and just my overall like fight conditioning mobility, flexibility, and all the good stuff. So uh, we're starting that phase right now. Um, the goal is to get stronger in this phase, so uh, the reps will be less. I am gonna put a little bit of hypertrophy in there. Now you guys understand this, that if you're trying to train a certain output, so if we're trying to get bigger, you can get stronger, but you can't necessarily do both in a sense. Like you can, you can. You're just gonna prioritize one or the other. Right, one's gonna, one's gonna, you know, outshine the other. So if majority of what I'm doing is strength, then I'm gonna get a lot more strength than I will muscle building. And again, too, when it comes to building muscle, it's not just about the reps or the output. So it's not just about doing sacrifice hypertrophy or like my people are, you know, strength or hypertrophy. It's about your eating, right? So I'm not eating to get bigger. I'm eating to maintain my size maintain my muscle and to get stronger so that's what the goal is this phase this is my strength phase mesocycle where I'm doing a lot more athletic uh, functional training uh, warming up and and yeah that's it man so I'm gonna bring you guys to that see what, uh, let you guys see what it's like and give you guys some like you know alternatives to what I'm doing if you want to do the same thing yourself but again uh, the goal for me is to get more explosive more powerful, more agile, and that's just a part of me I want to train again. I want to, you know, get myself back to being that pure athlete that I am, and I am an athlete, and I am no longer bodybuilding, so I'm still coaching bodybuilders, I'm still all that stuff because that's a part of me that will forever be a part of me, but this next part of my life, yeah, I want to be stronger, I want to be faster, I want to be more agile, I want to be able to chase down my little girl's boyfriends. <laughs> Just real talk. Anyway, and we got some uh, dynamic warm up first to start off, and then we got some functional stuff, and then we got our strength stuff. So I'm gonna put this when I record it. Um, I'm gonna put this training stuff first, and then some of might want to just see the training stuff more than the functional stuff. But for those who want to see the functional stuff, I'm showing you guys the functional stuff as well, too. So let's get into it. Um, I got some, we got a dynamic warm up first. High knees, all the good stuff, loosen up the hips, and all that beautifulness, and you'll see what's up and see what I'm doing. We'll get into it, all right? Let's go. So we got a checklist here of uh, basically a warm up first. So, ankle circles. This had a uh, full knee lunge hamstring stretch. Then we're doing ankle cars. So circular, articular shape rotations. Now we get hip circles next, but I'm doing them a little different way. I, I picked this bad boy up because I got some issues going, so I really wanna basically work this hip. So basically what I do is, Put it up, put it back down. And then rotating it back down, opening it, putting it back down. I'm trying to keep stability as much as I can. So I'm trying to whip that hip, open it up, and pull it around. You know when you get that every Friday. Um, all of you guys got Spotify, obviously probably you guys do. Oh! Woo! See what I'm saying? Okay, so now we've done that. What we're gonna do is, 
All right, we're gonna grab this. So same idea now, I'm gonna raise up the level here. So what I'm gonna do is, same idea now, but now I'm gonna put my foot a little higher. And the whole point is to try to keep a hip square and keeping your balance. And the most crazy, this feels really, really good. Roll back V sits, we got five of these. And I'm doing this, I'm trying to roll my entire spine up and I'm way down. Rolling everything all night through. Then we get Hindu push-ups. So your, your Hindu push-ups basically going from downward dog. Alright, so basically the workout is this. We got floor press, five sets, sorry, four sets of five reps, five second negative, explosive, um, concentric. We had a band of pull-aparts, dumbbell, neutral, hammer, press, that'll be um, in a bench. And then we have um, chin-ups, three sets of 10. Then we have cable uh, chops, three sets of 10. And then we have uh, a cardio, so I'm gonna leave that cardio when I get home. Basically doing a uh, hit style training uh, intervals on the air salt bike, so. So if you want to set these up, no matter if you're on a bench or floor press, you just want to be able to be underneath the rack and extend your triceps. You don't have to do this and then your shoulders roll up. You want to be able to just go underneath the bench, get your back set, and then just extend. It'll be like extending your knees doing a squat. You don't have to like go on your tippy toes to get up. We actually have four reps to do. So we have five sets, four reps. I warm up. It's a five second negative. Down here, so my grip's not gonna be overly wide either. I'm only about a thumb outside the, the rough. So we want to be explosive with that. Basically coming down, control the ground, and then boom, explode up. All right, so we got a 90 second rest. RPE is gonna be an eight, so we're not going to failure. So I'm just gonna increase the weight here. We only got four reps, so I can push the load a bit. Again, like the, the beginning of my, previous to this, I've been training just like hypertrophy. So nothing was geared towards strength. So this is my first day of a strength phase. So I will be logging my weight because I want this to increase. Um, this is gonna be a good measurement of like strength and explosiveness. So we you wanna, you know, push weight a bit. Again, I'm only coming down the elbow, right? So it's almost like doing a pin press. So I'm gonna lose a lot of that, that stretch to be able to, you know, kind of pull it up. So from here, it's very explosive from here, from the ground. So I have to really think about when I'm pushing for my feet, my butt's on the ground. And I'm using a lot of that leverage again from here. It's just like I always say, imagine you push yourself into the floor and we want to do that. That's basically what I want to do. And you should be thinking that when you're doing regular bench. I'm pushing myself into the ground. That's what I want to do, right? But then when there's more weight, it's not going to go as fast, but it will trans it'll transfer, right? You see, like that's only buck 85, right? So I don't have this like extra stretch right here. What's that do? It's just for explosiveness. That's what it's, it's it's not gonna build, I'm not gonna build, that's what I'm saying, but come to like, am I gonna build my chest? It's hardly chest, it's a lot of, I got some adduction, but a lot of that is tricep pushing up, so it's a lot of that pushing, feel it translate being explosive, but how can you change this? Super simple, go on a bench, 
Get the full stretch to the bottom, boom, power up. Same idea, right? The only thing is I'm just missing that little bit of a range and it's for a different purpose. So we only get 90 second rest. I'm like, when it comes to like, you know, progressive old, I'm not in any rush to be like, oh man, we can do two plates. No, nah, we're gonna be honest with ourselves right now. I want the speed, I don't wanna be struggling. I want the speed to stay the same. That's how I'm gonna measure whether or not I'm progressing or not. If I change things up right away, and I'm grinding these reps, so it's supposed to be an eight RPE. So I want to be consistent with my eight RPE on a week to week. If I'm pushing at uh, you know nine or ten, that means I'm training harder than I need to, and not for that goal. And the measurable, then measurement change, the variable changes. So I'm keeping everything consistent. Eight RPE, same speed, same, same lift, same everything. But for those who are just trying to build a muscle, build your chest, and you have to get yourself you know in a place where you can utilize the full range of that stretch flex. From here, so when you're right down, think about an elastic. I just threw my, actually, just, this will be like going half full, this will be like going, you know, half range, right? This would be like going full range. So if you wanna go full range of motion so you can get that explosiveness from the fringe. Again, what I'm doing, a little different. For you guys who uh, have uh, stiff backs or whatever it is, in between sets, I'm not stretching my chest, but I'm gonna stretch the other part of my body. Get the best of both worlds, right? Second last set. Then we get a band of pull aparts. Alright, band of pull aparts. I'm gonna grab as close as I can inside. I'm gonna pull them like this on my hand. So I'm pulling like this. Alright, this way kind of like hurts to do that. So I'm gonna keep like like pretty consistent when I'm pressing. So these, we want to go slow. We want to come back with speed and control and then let it release, fully protract through here and then we're pulling back. So I'll show you from the back. You can see how my, everything stays down. I'm still pulling down. So even though I'm working on this, even though I'm pulling, I'm still doing, I'm pulling my lats down. I keep everything across from here. <laughs> So I'm here, I'm in an athletic position this way, stance, right, a little bit of a, of a hinge. I'm doing my last set to show you. What I'm trying to achieve is making sure that when I'm coming all the way down, like I'm not like this, right? I want my band to go the same way as my arms. You can see, this is kind of a different way, but you can see when I'm pulling back, I want it to be in the same alignment as my arms, right? So I'm gonna be here. I don't want to be like down like this or like this and you come, Right across, woo! Oh, jeez! Yeah, it actually that burns. We got three sets of um, three sets of ten reps. We're going suit. We're going um, 15 degree incline neutral grip dumbbell press. So, okay, so I got this um, little. This is back for the hack squat, and it's got this nice little. Elevation part here for the back which basically clips on to the um, hack squat so you can convert it from hack squat to leg press. Anyway, I'm gonna be putting this right here. This is gonna elevate my upper body a bit and give me a little bit of an incline and even a little more stretch to the bottom. So we're doing three sets of 10 reps, stretch to the bottom, explode to the top. I was gonna do dumbbells, but since we have this, I'm gonna use this and get a little more hypertrophy out of this, a little more control. And then, uh, yeah, so here you go. This is only, um, like I said, first week, so we're not gonna, uh, we want an eight RPE, so 
This gives me a good base of where my strength is at right now. And then I'll build on. So I'll definitely get two more sets of 10. And the next week I'm gonna add 10 pounds. So we got uh, banded, we got banded scarecrows. These suck, but here's how it works basically. You go like this, you go like this. Gets that higher here. And basically here. Pull. Now this is way too tough. So you gotta like humble the shit out of yourself. Like you gotta humble yourself. Okay, so we got pull-ups. So I'm gonna go supinated. I can only do 10 reps up 